Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and welcome back to uh, Marine Search and Rescue. In the first video I did the tutorial mission and um, looks like we've got a choice of North Sea or Baltic Sea. Um, I don't know if there's any real difference in the difficulty or whatever but let's just go for North Sea. North Sea Missions. Choose the mission you want to play from the left hand side. Highway to Hell, Igalo Land. Okay, there's quite a lot of quite a lot of missions then. Oh, free cruise. Okay, let's try. The boy bumper is drowning. A cruiser has rammed a boy and is taking on water. There might also be castaways. What sounds like a routine operation could quickly turn into a large-scale rescue scenario. Main activities in this operation, rescue and tow. Let's go then. Marine. Marine. Maritime. Search and rescue. Actually, from the first video... From the first video... This game was not too bad. We're going to strange places on a falling tide without a pilot. That's what old Yana told me, Pete. If you want to stay a seaman in Heligoland, you have to know the sea like the back of your hand. Old Yana always had proverbs and wisdom on his lips. Nobody knew Heligoland's seas better than him. And when he went to sleep peacefully in his little house in Heligoland a few years ago, I decided to take his place. I wanted to get to know Heligoland, its seas, its reefs, its dangers. Heligoland, this island deep in the northeast of the German Bight. Look at those graphics. Natural reserve, with its seaport and airport and ban on motor vehicles. Two sets of traffic lights because of the airport. Heligoland, this is my island. I'm a sea rescuer here. First foreman of the Herman Marvita, the largest sea rescue cruiser in the world. Our operational area is the North Sea, with all its beauty and perils. Did you know, for example, that the water level here can rise by up to four meters at high tide? Reaching speeds of up to 20 kilometers an hour. Actually, the ebb and flow are often the Marvita's friends. Don't believe me? I remember one particular day. We had high tide. My engineer, Art Holgerson, and rescuer, Jasper Strindberg, were just clearing away breakfast when a radio message came in. And, as always, everything started out harmless. Okay. MRCC Bremen. This is the Herman Marvita. We received a message from a pilot. He spotted a cruiser ramming buoy N3. We suspect the yacht is taking on water. Could you check it out? Check of it course. out. Herman Marvita leaving P3. We're counting on you. I bet you are. Right, so we're heading towards the area highlighted, the green arrow, which seems all the way over there. There seems to be some weird frame drops with the game. Um, and I noticed in the first video the audio skipped a couple of times I think that is probably associated so I apologize if the audio does again skip slightly it doesn't it doesn't seem like he does it a lot at just every so often so hopefully that is bearable whoops no I was trying to oh I think it's F keys I was trying to change my the camera view whoa 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 dude yeah, there you go. Isn't that a, a nice view? Right, so let's go over here. Problem is we can't see that much. Oh, there you go. That's quite a nice view, isn't it? Actually, the water effects right now, they look all right. Not too bad. Very kind of rigid, though. You would say it looks quite rigid, wouldn't you? 
Heligoland. We are the rescuers in Heligoland. The other side. Oh, the front. There you go. Yay. Alright, so I imagine this might be similar to our first first mission. Maybe. Like the tutorial, I mean. We'll see. And you can see this game actually has shadows. You can see there are actually shadows. And, well, like I said in the first video, graphics are actually not too bad. I've seen a lot worse for these kind of games. These kind of sim games, especially this is a game made by Rondo Media, or they're the publishers, I should say. I've seen a lot of pretty diabolical graphics with these kind of games. So actually, this is not too bad. Oh, you know what I forgot? I can change the speed, right? So let's do that. Yeah, we don't really want to sit here going at normal speed, like, you know, so it's a good job they do have that option, otherwise we would be a bit stuck, wouldn't we? Whee! Right, this does look quite far away green thing is not appearing yet so let's go fastest four times we don't really want to be doing the journey thing for too long a wall <laughs> okay maybe that means we're not supposed to go there maybe that bit there I don't know no not quite sure anyway da -da -da, speeding through the water like a boss Whoa, we really are speeding through the water. Look at that. Yeah, the water effects actually are not too bad. To be fair, again, certainly seem much worse. Whoa, that looks kind of funny, though. Oh, okay. Is this... This I is think it. I can see her. But it doesn't look good. She's completely underwater. We should check if there are people still on board the daughter boat. The daughter boat? That upon anybody. And if we don't find anybody, we should search the area. Okay. The daughter boat? What do you mean the daughter boat? Is it this thing over here? No. Okay, so thanks for not explaining anything. Dun, dun, dun. Okie dokie. I oh I need to try, okay. New mistake. It when he said the daughter boat, he means this, I think. So for future reference, this is the See daughter anything? boat. Not a person in sight, not even in the cabin. Marvy, up nobody on board the yacht. We thought as much. I'll keep my eyes open. Now what? I'll keep my oh, so we're supposed are we supposed to like look around? Maybe. I should use the daughter to check if there are people on board or in the surrounding waters. If I find castaways, I have to pull them out of the water, and I will turn to that. Okay. So actually, it's a good job they have that because that does explain. The voice acting is kind of weird. So. I'm assuming there's no way for me to actually search this, so it would appear no one is on it, and there's no way, I think, for me to, like, search it. You can kind of see there's no one on board, though. Alright, let's have a look around. Let's have a looky around. Oh, I think I found someone. We nearly, like, run them over with our boat, didn't we? That's not good. They're like swimming away, come back, damn it. Right, hang on. What's the key again? I can't even remember what the key is. Is it F5, F6, F7, F8, F... No, is it F10? Yeah, there you go, this weird view. Where you have to then click on them. Whoa, 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 dude, come on. 
We found a person drifting in the water. Copy. There's and another one. Now. I'll take care of the person, Pete. Well, thanks for that, mate. But yeah, the voice acting... I think they've tried quite hard on the voice acting in a way, but... They, oh, I don't know, it's... it's at least they have voice acting, but it's a bit weird, really. Now, what's happened now? Where did he go? Where did that dude go? Right, let's go back into the other view, because it's sometimes really... Right, he's, he's on the other side now. We, like, ran him over. He should be, like, not alive right now. Mmm! Like, it's really hard to, like... I don't know. Sometimes the maneuverability of this thing is a little bit frustrating. Again, I, where did he go again? Come on, where are you, dude? I'm just gonna like spin around like a boss. Wow. Ugh. I probably like totally killed the guy now. There he is, he pops up again. Right, slowly. Because it seems like you drift annoyingly. Right, let's go like that. You should start drifting. There he is, there he is. Come on, come to daddy. Come on, move, damn it. Nope. Like, I'm scared to try to maneuver this thing, because, look, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Like, so annoying. You get near the guy. And he, and he, like, floats away. Come on. Get in the damn boat. Come on, we got him, we got him. There you go. Fuck. That makes two castaways. Wow. There seems to be only one other person. How's the other castaway doing? He seems calm. He's worried about his companion. But according to him, there weren't any more people on board the yacht. Good. Then let's bring both persons on board and back to their mother. Arndt, we've got two castaways and are coming back now. Roger. Marita is ready. Yeah, I I apologize again. There are some frame drops. Um, it just all of a sudden would drop out the game. Sorry about that. The woman is in shock and is really shivering. The man is calm, but is of course worried about his partner. They were probably in the water for about half an hour. Awareness, breathing, and pulse are all normal. Well, there's plenty of tea for the two of them on board the Marita. They'll be well again soon. Then. Apparently oh, they've left all on. of their papers and money on board. I bet we have to we have to tow it. See if we can find anything floating around. But I bet we have to tow it. Of that. Can we tow the ship? We'll give it a try. That means yes. Okay, let's try to tow the ship. Open the door. Go down here. And I I do actually like the manual stuff. You know, actually doing manual stuff. It's a shame the walking is kind of glitchy, but at least you have to actually do stuff like walk in first person to do this stuff. There we so, go. The half sunken ship is on the hook. Do you want to tow her into port? No, she wouldn't survive the distance. Not just that. The whole paraphernalia will probably outstrip us. I suggest a salvage in low water. Cool. Where will we take her then? Well, somewhere the ebb is shallow enough. Near Ooh. Buoy and five, there's somewhere to moor. Buoy. What mistaken. a great word. Let's go then. So we have to take her to shallow water. Shallow water. Here we come. And to be fair. The music is also not too bad in this game. So, you know, for these kind of simulated games, I reckon they've done a pretty good job. Certainly a lot they could improve on, but certainly a better a better effort than you often see with these kind of games. As you've seen from many other sim games that I've had on my channel of a lesser quality. It seems like the controls kind of work not bad. A little bit glitchy, for example, like I said, with the water. The music's pretty good. The voice acting is there. It kind of works. So, yeah, not that bad, really. Not too bad. Right, so we need to go over here. 
follow our green arrow. Oh, you know what we can do again? We can speed up. I, I don't want to go to the full speed, but let's speed up a bit. Where is she? Yay, we're towing the boat. It's not really the most exciting game in the world, is it? I don't know. Even though it does have the things I talked about. I think the problem... Oh, craps. I think the problem is, is I always want these kind of games. You know, I love the idea of these kind of simulator games. And in the future, I hope is someone was to make one. It's shallow enough here. Are you going to moor the boat here? Yep. And then home. I'm hungry for cake. I bet you are. Right, let's just read what we're doing. Back to the station. Right. So does that mean that the boat is already unattached? I think it automatically unattached itself. Okay, and then someone else will come along and salvage it. It's like... What I'm trying to say is, I love the idea of these kind of games, but I, in the future I'm hoping that we get to a point where we can actually make re really realistic sim games. You know, where every job within the game is well made, feels realistic. For example, like maybe in the future you could have this kind of game, and when, like in this, this mission, they are saying that someone will come and salvage this this boat it'd be really cool if you could actually be those guys who were salvaging it you have to bring a boat out you have tools that actually work on the boat and you know that that salvage it so it's like i do really want a game that accurately depicts you know a variety of these kind of roles but unfortunately right now most games are nowhere near that you know which is kind of a shame this is not a bad effort but it's still ways off you know ways away oh where am i going am i going in here am i going in here mrcc bremen this is the herman marvita heading back to p3 We've got two castaways on board. Do they need treatment? No, they're doing pretty well now. What's with the yacht? The buoy bumper is underwater up to her deck. No, it wasn't here, There's was it? We could do. It's now at buoy N5. We'll try to salvage it. Buoy. Why is he calling Sounds it good. buoy? Let us it's know a when boy. you're back out there. We'll do. It's not much farther now. Wow, I didn't realize there were people in the world that called a boy a buoy. I'm pretty sure I've always called them boys, like a boy. Whee! But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh yeah, just around here, right? Okay. Let's get going. So yeah, you know, not a bad attempt so far. I hope there's a variety in the missions, because that's another thing that often is a problem with these kind of simulator games. Every mission will be very, very similar. You're doing the same actions again and again and again, and it gets kind of boring. So, yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope. Is it in here? I think it is in here. It doesn't look... Oh, I don't know. I think it is here. Have we got an arrow? I think we have an arrow. That blue arrow, I think, is the thing that is telling us where to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here yeah there's a house which means it's our home yay and I, I don't think we even have to park up do we it just automatically will let you end the mission I think will it oh I don't know though let's crash the boat lol right are we doing something wrong here let me just look at my lovely logbook thing. Arriving at the port, I'll go on deck, grab a rope, and cast it 
to a bollard on land. If the rope holds, I'll fasten the other end to a suitable bit on the ship. What? So is that... What? Oh, the boy bumper is... What? I totally missed that. I was obviously not paying attention. Arriving at the port, I'll go on deck, grab a rope, and cast it to a bollard, a bollard on land. If the rope holds, I'll fast... Uh, I think what they're trying to say is I need to fasten the ship, you know? Wow, that was kind of a convoluted way of saying that, wasn't it, really? Right. So let's try. Let's see if that's what it means. I think it, I think it means to just attach. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that was not too bad. Whoopsie. Wrong button, though. I sometimes feel that English is a little bit weird. You know? It's like you don't really understand what exactly what they're trying to say. Okay, so that looks like end of mission. Is it? Oh, there's a... What? Phone? Search the mobile phone and answer it. Okay. I'm coming! Please don't hang up. I, I have this... The slowest walking in the world. I'm going to go up in here. It must be in here, surely. This is like this, the, the slowest walking in a game. Yes, I know that. Uh, oh, actually. No, mo no mobile in here, son. Oh, look. We can go down here. Cool. Oh, I didn't even realise there was a bit down here. Let's open the door. No, we can't open the door. No locks. Oh, look. There's a whole little area down here. Not bad. Hey, up. Where are we going? Uh, okay, I didn't even realise we could open that door at all. Oh, and we're not allowed down there. Oh, please let me down there. No, clearly not. Like, if this was real life, they would have hung up by now. Oh, found it. Sea Beep. Rescue Cruiser Herman Marvita. Pete Songen here. Uh, this is Friedrich. I'm a bird keeper at the Institute of Avian Research. Oh, how oh, nice. Over near the Wind Cliff, I can see people standing and waving frantically. Less nice. They're standing and waving? Yes, I think so. I'm looking at them through my binoculars and can only just make them out. They could actually be standing right on the submerged cliff. Maybe there are casualties? Either way, we have to rescue them. MRCC Bremen, this is the Herman Marvita. We just received a report of people on the cliff. Hello, Herman Marvita. People on the cliff. Here? Yes, we are. We're in contact with a bird keeper who has the people in his sights. Good. Keep us in the loop. Can you stay on the phone, Friedrich? Of course. I'll keep watching the people. Great. We'll stay in contact. Okay, guys. That's going to be the end of this video, and I'll do this mission in the next one. So, thank you for watching, um, and I will see you in the next exciting episode. Bye-bye.